In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with a loving help, your Church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him, Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. It will crush your head and you will strike its heel. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all those who live. The Word of the Lord Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. It is he the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are our children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia! Happy are you! Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. After this, Jesus knew that everything had now been completed and to fulfill the scripture perfectly, he said, I am thirsty. A jar full of vinegar stood there, so putting a sponge soaked in the vinegar on a hyssop stick, they held it up to his mouth. After Jesus had taken the vinegar, he said, It is accomplished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. It was preparation day, 
and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity, the Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found him already dead. And so, instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, do you ever meditate on the Hail Mary? So what do I mean by meditate on the Hail Mary? Well, many saints love to take our formula prayers and meditate upon it to really ask God, what does this line mean? Why is this prayer given to us? To pray, to um, use it as a means to deepen our spiritual lives and our intimacy with God. And St. Francis of Assisi um, loved to meditate upon these prayers. Like the Our Father, um, he meditated and we actually have uh, his meditation of the Our Father. And we also have a meditation on um, the Hail Mary, which he calls the salutations uh, of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in here, in the salutations, there's a very peculiar word, a very peculiar term that he used to refer to our Blessed Mother. And he calls our Blessed Mother Virgin Made Church. And this was a term that was not very commonly used at that time, even though some early church fathers have referred to Mary as church, as a type for the church. And typology is this technical word where we have um, a reference to the Old Testament, either a person or a figure that will be fulfilled uh, or be a model um, for something in the New Testament. And we always say that Mary is a type for the church because Mary is virgin and mother, and so therefore the church is also virgin and mother. And for St. Francis, he intuited that Mary is virgin made church. That Francis could see with that contemplative eye in his meditation that the Holy Spirit has given him this insight that Mary is a type for the church, a model for the church. And therefore she is also mother of the church. And we didn't coin that. Jesus was the one that gave us Mary to be our mother. On the cross, on his throne of glory. And for the Gospel of John, from which we have read this Gospel today, for the Gospel of John, the cross of shame and pain is really the throne of glory for Jesus because up on the cross, Jesus is completely following God's will in humility and poverty. And so on this throne of glory, during his dying moments, when every breath is so difficult, in his dying breath, he saw his mother standing by the side of his cross. And that's another reference to our first reading. We have our first reading where we have got Eve. And we are told that Eve is taken from the side of Adam. Yes, we sometimes translate it to the rib. But truly, uh, Eve was taken from the side that Eve is always at the side of Adam. And so it's no coincidence that the Gospel of John, which mirrors Genesis, has Mary standing at the side of Jesus. And we know that Jesus is named the new Adam. So therefore, who is the new Eve? The mother of all. And that is our Blessed Mother, Mary. And seeing that Mary has not abandoned him like everyone else, was standing by his side, and seeing the beloved disciple, we always call the beloved disciple John, but he's not named, and he's never named actually in the Gospel of John, which means that we can insert our own names, that we are the beloved disciples now. 
and he gives his mother to the beloved disciple and the beloved disciple to his mother. There is this mutual gifting. And so my dear friends, Jesus desires that his own mother be our mother also because she's the one that is perfectly obedient to God, perfectly poor and humble, just like her son. And so she deserves to be our mother, guiding us along this way of life. Despite all troubles and difficulties and temptations, she's always there to show us the way, pointing to her son and telling us to do whatever he tells us to. So let's continue to allow Mary to be our mother and to also to encourage others to see her as mother as well. Not because we want to, but because Jesus wants to. Let us now pray in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel, and thanks to the outpouring of the Spirit, may fill the whole earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.